Hi guys, um, yesterday as I um, showed in the previous video I received my FPB gear from uh, getfpb.com and the idea was to have a system, a modular system which uh, I can switch between quads. Um, not only that but also composed by two cameras one pointing uh, down and the other pointing um, uh, forward. The forward one is the Mobius um, action cam that it has been recently released and um, the one pointing down is the one that came with uh, my Fat Shark Googles uh, Predator. The idea is, uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, to be a bit more um, confident and sure where I'm landing, especially because I live surrounded by trees and um, yeah, where I fly usually is surrounded by um, yeah, trees, buildings and so on. So I want to be sure that uh, I'm going down the proper place and so on. So anyway, <clears throat> um, you can check the previous video um, for details on the, on the hardware. But this is what I have done so far. So that's essentially what I was um, planning to do. Um, this base contains um, the Fatcher camera. This is 600 uh, TV lines. Um, the Fatcher transmitter. The antenna, of course. Um, the power module, which is this... Um, uh, sorry, uh, filled, uh, power filter to avoid the noise from the motors um, uh, because I, I, that's another thing I'm gonna use a OSD, minimum OSD which is pre-installed here but not connected I will do it another day the idea is that uh, I'm using a single battery so that I can control really um, the, um, yeah, I don't have issues with uh, controlling the voltage of two batteries which uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's possible to see it in the OSD the two batteries uh, voltage if you have to in your quad so anyway so far to make it simple and less cabling and so on I'm gonna use uh, the main battery of the quad so it's necessary or recommended at least to have a power filter this comes with a kit of the Fatshack Predator which I find very good for uh, for newbies and people that start with FPV um, the antennas are the only thing that uh, don't come uh, I mean the antennas the cloth uh, glove leaf and, and so on, uh, they don't come, they come with um, the, the tip polar, I think are called, uh, well, the typical, you can see here, the typical straight antennas, yeah, I don't remember now the, the name, anyway, um, so I got, I know that they are much better for um, uh, about multipathing and reflection and so on, well, there is a lot of videos on and uh, explanations about why these antennas are so good. Um, so essentially anyway, that's what um, I have built so far, a base with uh, the components. Uh, the key component actually is the, the a three channel video switch. So it has uh, three, uh, it can have up to three inputs of video and one output. So far I'm using just um, two of the channels as outputs because I have only two cameras then this is the output which obviously goes to the fat shark um, um, video and uh, plus 5 volt uh, connector this is uh, the connect the cable the power uh, cable of the fat shark that comes from the uh, power filter and here I would connect the balance uh, cable of uh, uh, in this case uh, 3s battery that I'm using then as i say then from each camera in this case the one mounted in the base is the one pointing downwards um, the cable is going to channel 2 in this case here and this um, channel 1 is the one that i'm gonna use here and this is uh, not connected is the one that i'm gonna connect here which is a fixed harness to the Mobius and as you see here I can remove the Mobius and then yeah and change it to the other quad which actually it doesn't have it has I didn't finish to put to prepare all the bases uh, the supports um, for uh, the, this FPV system but uh, the idea is to have a so I just changed from one quad to the other 
the Mobius, obviously, which will have another cable already pre-installed, so I bought two. And then this base. This base, once once all the cables are tidy and so on, the only thing you have to connect are essentially three things. This cable that goes to the Mobius, as I said here. The second cable that has to be connected is this one to the transmitter, uh, the receiver, sorry, the RC receiver, which is uh, controlling which camera are you switching between. Um, yeah, I already um, configured uh, my uh, two position switch in this case. I didn't want to mess with the three position switch, uh, which actually I'm using for my IPM 2.6 for the mode. So, so far I don't have any three switch position, which is free in my transmitter. But anyway, I'm have, I have two cameras, so I just needed to uh, one high and one low level uh, PWM um, to control the switch between cameras. I will show you in a minute um, how I did it. And then, as I say, this is has some. This base has um, some uh, Velcro, properly secured with also double side tape, which I'm using quite a lot actually. I discovered that's something maybe I should mention as well. This is a very good uh, um, double side tape that you can buy in the in the hardware stores and so on. Mm. It's actually um, made to uh, to be used in uh, bathrooms and mm. so on, so that it, it it has it sticks to a lot mm. of surfaces, very st strong, and uh, it can um, sustain um, uh, humidity uh, and so on. So I have been using this for the last two three months. It's the third roll so far. I mean, you can see actually the the second last one here already gone. I'm using it a lot to tighten. Um, ESCs and or even for with several layers it's damping very good I'm using actually when I use any damping for the vibrations you can see here for example in the APM not only I use the foam but you see the uh, here there is only one layer but sometimes I, I put even two layers between the the foam that is uh, the main vibration damping and whatever I want to 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 isolate from vibrations. Here, for example, I have I think two or three layers. So this is it has been proved to to uh, not really need in in many cases, um, not even a double a redundant um, attachment system like uh, to se secure it with zip ties or whatever. So that's essentially what I have been using here. That's the base for all this this ba the um, the FPV. Uh, system that I have here. So as I, as you saw, it had two um, uh, velcro strips on the bottom, which match those two here. Then I use maybe I'm not sure if I will do it a bit better, but at least for this weekend to start doing FPV, it will work. This is a um, uh, actually, that's a funny, funny thing. This is a um, kind of a polyurethane, or I don't know, very soft, which for um, for um, low frequency um, vibrations, I think this should be uh, uh, pretty damping pretty well. So far, I have been trying in in, in one of the cameras here, and it decreased the the yellow quite a lot. This is the Mobius support. You see, it's sandwiched between. Um, you can see here, so this video is a bit of a vibration actually also at, at the end. So you can see the double side tape on the bottom, several layers, among other things because I had to, to save uh, one nut that is uh, underneath. But then I have also this uh, a layer of this uh, foam. And this, this cost like 3 euros or something like that. This is actually a sole. You can find this anywhere. Sometimes you don't need to buy very um, fancy gels or stuff. Check your hardware store and um, sometimes you can find uh, things very useful for our hobby. And in this case, this, uh, this um, foam, it's pretty... I don't see if you... 
it's it's not bouncing. I mean, it doesn't have some uh, kind of a spring effect, which is uh, would be actually not good. It's kind of a by by viscoelastic or so. Anyway, you can use this, and it also sticks very well again to the double side tape. So anyway, I'm pretty yeah um, happy with it, and I suspect that it will work very well. So essentially, that's what what I have done so far. So you essentially get the base here and this base is essentially done as I said I have to tidy all these cables anyway but essentially then you just need to connect the the, the receiver of uh, the RC receiver this cable can be with a couple of zip ties passed here connected here and of course I will have a pre-installed also cable fix harness for the balance port which is here of the battery which goes here so that's it and then we are ready to go I'm gonna finish assembling this and um, ah, by the way just to show you what I how I uh, have my uh, my two uh, position switch in my DX7S 7S for switching between cameras so if we go to servo setup the only thing I did is to uh, assign the aux, aux uh, to channel 4 to the F switch which is a two, tra two position switch and the only thing if I don't remember if I remember fine was to change obviously the so that's the F switch So that's what is triggering in this case the channel 1, channel 2. And I suspect that in a 3 position you can see the, sli the slider that goes this is channel 2. This triggers channel 1 of the camera, the camera 1. I suspect that for a 3, <laughs> obviously uh, for the third channel it will, you will just need to, to um, set the 3 uh, position switch to the highest or to the lower on this area um, now I know that, that those are the positions and actually they look quite logical but if you have uh, if you don't know how to do it um, I mean which is the position in if you have a similar system uh, like I do like in my spectrum the the you can just uh, try and, and, and increase the crease so you put the switch to the position you want you connect all your system with the two cameras and the, the fat shark you wear them on and then you start moving it took me I did this because I was not sure um, at the beginning I didn't really want to spend time on checking the details so what I did is uh, more trial and error so I started moving the display and when it was when I, I was seeing in my fat shark uh, certain camera I was checking the values and where the slider was and so on so after a minute, a minute and a half I quickly understood uh, what it, how it worked which actually is pretty pretty uh, uh, logical I didn't do it from the beginning it was uh, I think 2 in the morning yesterday when I was doing this so I just wanted to start rolling the the this uh, the, the wheel and that's it anyway I will finish mounting this and uh, I think in um, yeah in a while maybe in a couple of hours or three uh, I will be able to fly outside my first FPV uh, flight thanks for watching